Hi, everybody. I want to talk to you today about eating frogs. Yes, eating frogs. All those little green slimy things that turn into princes when you kiss them, but not really. There's a book out there um, that talks about this, and I, I can't remember what it's called. It's probably called Eat That Frog, but here's how the story or the idea behind it goes, and, I, and personally, I think it's kind of brilliant. Imagine, and I really want you to imagine this, that every single day, no exceptions, no matter what, you have to eat one whole frog. J just imagine that you have to do that. Like if you didn't do it, you would die or something. It, whatever you have to say to yourself in your mind to just kind of sort of believe this for a second, let's just make this our truth. So every day you have to eat a frog. Now, there's nothing about that that sounds delicious or pleasant. Um, the frog's not cooked, sautéed, or steamed. It's it's alive. And so it's, it's gross on a lot of levels. But you have to do it. You have no choice. This is something you have to do every single day. Now, would you just... If it was you, ask yourself this question. Would you sit there and think about it all day long? And, you know, you'd feel sick to your stomach. You probably wouldn't want to eat all day. And you'd be worried and dreading this moment, thinking about, I've got to eat a frog before the sun goes down tonight. Or would you get up in the morning and before your feet even hit the floor, grab that frog and eat it, get it over with, just, just do it. And then you can just go about the rest of your day. You can enjoy stuff and do stuff and not have to think about it for another 24 hours. Um, and I mean, I think most of us would probably agree that eating that frog First thing in the morning is probably the best idea because you get it out of the way. It's done, right? And then you have so many other things that you can enjoy during the day without having to worry about something icky that you got to do a little bit later on. And I was having a bowl of cereal earlier this afternoon because that's what I craved. And I pulled out a box of Lucky Charms. I don't usually eat crap cereal like that, but we have a box and I thought, wow, this is cool. I haven't had this since I was a kid. And as I sat there eating this, tell me if you do this too. I was eating all of the... Um, the little toasted oats things because I leave the marshmallows like for last because the toasted oats are kind of boring and they kind of remind you of a little healthy cereal. When I was a kid, I didn't want to eat healthy cereals. I loved it when we got to have junk cereals. So I would eat all the little yucky pieces first because then at the very end, I could enjoy just like whole mouthfuls of that marshmallow, sweet, yummy goodness. Do you remember that? So I'm eating the cereal. You know what I thought of? I'm eating my frog. I mean, okay, so Lucky Charms toasted oat spits aren't anywhere as disgusting as the frog, but the premise applies. I started off by finishing off the things that I don't really like so that I could end with the treats, the yummies. And, and so there I was eating that frog. And so I'm going to probably say this to you guys every now and then when I want to encourage you to meet some of the challenges that I've posted. Eat that frog. Do it first. Get it out of the way. Um, and then you have all the rest of the week or the day or the hour or whatever you set to enjoy yourself. So I gave you a challenge a little bit earlier, maybe last week sometime about a power hour. Now, not all of us have 60 minutes. So how about a power 15 minutes that you really dedicate to your business? And then, um, on Sunday, I think it was, or sometime this weekend, I challenged every single one of you to contact four four people, just four. You have seven whole days to contact four people. And I know a lot of you didn't do it. Um, and some of the reasons are, are absolutely okay because maybe you're, you're not business building and maybe you're a hobbyist and, and, and maybe you're just a customer. Um, and that's, that's really fantastic. But if you're wanting to build a business and you haven't yet, or you haven't been successful in building a business or a strong clientele, this challenge is for you. And you're probably feeling like in the pit of your stomach, you're feeling that Ugh, I don't want to call because I'm afraid people are going to say no, or they're going to think I'm bugging them. You know what? Maybe they will. And maybe they won't. So contacting those four people, that's your frog. You have a whole week to do it. And here we are Wednesday, late afternoon. How many of you are still watching that frog? Hmm? Hmm? You? eat that frog. I contacted seven people. So I kind of pushed myself a little bit, not really, but I contacted seven people. And you know what? I have 
three one-on-ones booked. Three. Not none of them more than 72 hours out. And one of them is tomorrow night. And she wants to talk about the business. From seven contacts. They could have all said no, sure. But some of them said yes, because I ate my frog nice and early. And I want you to eat your frog. It just might turn into a prince. Good luck. Let me know if you need any encouragement, any help, or any suggestions. I want to see you succeed.